Hey guys, as you can tell, we're out in the swamp doing some wading and I uh, got my buddies with me and they're gonna tell you a little bit about what they do and how long they've been doing this. This is gonna be a really neat experience. We've had a 30 minute walk just getting in here and I'm excited. It's beautiful scenery and uh, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I'm Scotty and this is Keelan Hall. We, we, uh, we, we operate a Slap City Guide Service for wade trips and uh, we've been we've been waiting these this is the river bottom here off of Sardis Reservoir. Uh, we've been doing this for I've been doing this for 20 years. Keelan's just 22 years old, but he's been doing it since he was able to walk. We uh, we we try to find fish in here, and and uh, I believe we're going to catch several today. Right here. They spawn really shallow in this muddy water, don't they? Yeah. Sometimes we've been catching them lately, uh, probably anywhere from what Keelan, tw 12 to 18 inches deep. That's cool. Yeah, we're excited about this. This is definitely a unique deal. There's people that do it, but just just not a lot. A uh, huge percentage, you know, so it's kind of rare. You got to know where you're going. You know, there's no electronics, there's no live scope. You just got to peck around for years, don't you, to yeah, find right. You spot. have to know the terrain before you actually get in here and kind of take your time in here. And, and we don't want to get our, we don't get wet. Yeah. We don't get so, stuck in the mud or anything like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we're excited. Let's do it. And that's cool. <laughs> How fun is that? Oh, geez. How did you call that right there? those people in the boat for a ride back yet? Yeah. <laughs> I figure it's coming. I was 22 about 20 years ago. All right, normally when I'm fishing, wade fishing, I, I, uh, my favorite is the 10 foot ACC. Uh, this was the cork candle actually, and, and uh, this is a super grip. And these weigh, these pro I think this one weighs four, eight, four pounds, eight ounces, which is super light. And then uh, I usually uh, customize them with a, with a small B, and this is a B and M reel. Uh, today we're using six pound test line. Uh, and it's, you know, you can feel, you can, it's, a, it's very sensitive, very sensitive rod and a lot of backbone in this rod. Uh, so, and they're, very, and they're just so durable. I've, this rod, this, this is one, I, this is actually a year old rod. I've had, I've weighed fish with this one for uh, last year too. So, and it's still in great condition. As you can see today, we're we're below the knee deep water, which we're 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 basically targeting. Uh, we want water temperatures to be in the mid 60s. Uh, these fish will once the water rises, these fish will move as about as shallow as they can to to spawn. As long as they're not as long as the water is not they're not pulling the water from the main reservoir, then then uh, these fish will stay here and, and they'll do their 
uh, duration of the spawn here, and it, anywhere from the knee deep to what we call the thigh deep. Uh, but you want the water temperatures to be in the mid 60s, 64, 65, uh, perfect. Uh, you want the nighttime temperatures to be, you know, in mid 50s at night and 70s, 80s during the day. And it warms this water up really quick here because it's only knee deep. And they like to run in here and they spawn. And then, of course, the females will run in here and spawn. And then the males will come in and, and guard the nest and for usually normally 10, 14 days. Uh, so right now we're still catching we're still catching females in here, so we at least got two more weeks here. Uh, and a lot of times the full moon will bring them, full moon period is my favorite. That it, brings it'll bring them, it'll bring what females haven't spawned, they'll bring those in, which is two more weeks from now. So we should go into probably I'd say mid-May, catching my way through mid-May. Uh, then the water rises, these fish will still be in this depth, even though the water may be further back, but the fish that are spawning still be right here because this is where they've, this is where they've made their beds and they've, they've, uh, they've laid some of their eggs here. On like me riding in Keelan Wheat, normal day we'll we'll start shallow here, uh, and then work our way out. And when the bite gets slower there, you know we know the fish are concentrated in sh more shallow water, and we'll we'll set our we'll set our sights on like today knee deep water which we're getting more bites here in the deep water seems like than we are a little deeper, uh, which this water has been here for several days. So it's, it's, it's not new water because uh, we hadn't had any rain in probably a week now, I guess. But we're gonna, con we're gonna just work our way, we'll fan our way through until we figure out what, how, what depth they are. Uh, even even in, it has something to do with your line, the depth of how deep you're, deep you're fishing your jigs. Sometimes you can catch them in four inches off your pole and sometimes they're at the very bottom. So we'll just work our, we work out, we'll just find our way through an area and a lot of times we'll catch several fish in one area. Usually when you catch one, there's more, you know, most of the time there's more than one fish here. Hey guys, it's Andy again. We are down here having a blast. We've caught a lot of fish. We're just working around these trees real slow. And what I like about it is, so there's no trolling motor, there's no electronics, there's no screen. You, you just get back to how you grew up fishing. You know, you're looking at nature, you're walking around, you're feeling that thump, it's a surprise. It, you know, it, it almost scares you. you. You're sitting there, you go 10 minutes without a bite and then wham, tries to yank the rod out of your hand. So it's just, it's just so relaxing. You get away from the, like I said, the technology, the trolling motor, the boat not wanting to start. You know, just all, all the trouble you have with the way we do things now. And you get out here in the, the swamp and the woods and, and just wait around and catch fish. It's super relaxing, super fun. And uh, I, I recommend it to anybody who's never done it. So it's a lot of fun, guys. Get out there and try it. If you've got a place you can go put some waders on and go walk around, do it. You'll be glad you did. I didn't know. I didn't know. Alright, so Stu here um, with Total Angling Experience. Hey, we're out here doing this wade fishing thing with uh, ACC. And this is just so cool out here. You can see we're in knee deep water and there's probably 15 people around us right now. And everybody's walking around, moving around, stirring up mud, and we are still catching fish. It is amazing to me. You can see the terrain we're in and these fish, they just do not move. It's amazing how much pressure you can put on top of these fish and still catch them. Something like I've never seen before. So yeah, super fun. We're just dipping these trees, wandering around, enjoying the day. It's awesome. We had a good time out here today with the ACC crew. And, uh, if you guys want to do some wading for some Mississippi crappie, uh, give us a call. Slab City Guide Services. I'm Jeff Scotty City. This is Keelan Hall, Rodney Hall. Uh, 662-266-1799.
All right, guys, out here with my buddies. We had a good day out here waiting around. These are just some of what we kept. Great day out here dipping cypress trees and buck brush with these guys. Great crew, lots of fun. See you later.